Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report making sure your PC protection is safe and sound. So this is a short review of the new Microsoft Defender application. For some of you who don't know what Microsoft Defender is, well, probably it has been there most of your time installed by default with your Windows operating system, so that means it's a basic antivirus that you get pre-installed. But with the latest preview build, which is 22572, we now got a taste of the Microsoft Defender preview app, which means the app might change in looks and functionality, but we still get to check an early version of it. So, if you press the start button and type in Defender, you'll most likely find as well the Microsoft Defender Preview app. From my own understanding, it seems like this application will not replace the default Windows Defender, but rather complement it. That means the functionality is the same, but under a different roof with a new design. So, as you can see, this is the main interface, with a panel of security tips on the left side, then in the middle you got details about your device and other devices, and then on the right side you have an option to add more devices. So if you click on add devices, you will get the option to copy-paste a link and send it to three more devices that you or your family and friends own to install Microsoft Defender. That means that once someone is also connected with this application, you can get to see an overview of their security history. Get notifications if there was any security threat on any of these devices, which personally I think it's super cool and seems to aim at a bigger integration with all the stuff around you. Now moving on to the center panel, you can click on device details to find out more about your device protection and as well the status of the other devices connected with the Microsoft Defender app. But, as you can see, the Microsoft Defender app is also connected to your third-party antivirus, so let's say if we shut down our third-party antivirus or just stop it for a moment, you will see that the status of the Defender app will change to something like not protected. Moving on, clicking on the other devices tab will get you to the list of the other devices that are connected to the Microsoft Defender app under the same account with basic info such as device status, the last time it was updated and the name of the users. One last thing worth mentioning is the security history page which is also available as a link on the main interface. In here you will get info about all the previous security alerts and as well all of the security history since you installed this app. All in all, I think this is a very cool looking application, made simple, made smart with not so many options, which sometimes is good because you don't need to get confused and lost in countless menus because you just need an app to protect all your weird web surfing or simply from the random threats that your PC encounters. But the big question, do we really need it? Probably it's not a question about needing it or not, as the application seems to be more of a representative of the Windows security app hidden in the system settings menu. But hey, I think it's worth trying it out for the sake of Windows 11, which has a new design and looks quite cool. And that's it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.